Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Prepare our hearts, we pray, O Lord our God, by your divine power, so that at the coming of Christ your Son we may be found worthy of the banquet of eternal life and merit to receive heavenly nourishment from his hands, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy, rich food and pure choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the fears from all faces. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we look to save us, this is the Lord for whom we look. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side, with your rod and your staff that give me courage. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. 
Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Please stand. The Lord, the Lord comes to save His people. people. Blessed, Blessed are those prepared to meet Him. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, went up on the mountain, and sat down there. Great clouds came to him, having with them the lame, the blind, the deformed, the mute, and many others. They placed them at his feet, and he cured them. The crowds were amazed when they saw the mute speaking, the deformed made whole, the lame walking, and the blind able to see, and they glorified the God of Israel. Jesus summoned his disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd. For they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry for fear they may collapse on the way. The disciples said to him, Where could we ever get enough bread in this deserted place to satisfy such a crowd? Jesus said to them, How many loaves do you have? Seven, they replied, and a few fish. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then he took these seven loaves and the fish, gave thanks, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, seven baskets full. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Nakikikain ba tayo na kasama yung ating mga kaaway, kalaban? Kahit siguro masarap yung pagkain, Mawawalan tayo ng gana, hindi po ba? Hindi tayo nakikikain sa mga kalaban o kaaway natin o kaibigan man na kung baga sa panahon na tayo ay kumakain, mayroong sinasabing hindi maganda, mawawalan tayo ng gana. Tandaan natin, treachery, does not come from our enemies. It comes from our friends. It is not the food that makes the conversation pleasant. It is the relationship. Ano yung ating matutunan mula sa mga pagbasa? Una, matutunan natin na sama-samang pinakain ni Jesus yung kakapalan ng mga tao. It was a crowd. And he, let us say, offered a catering service not only to 5,000 men, but counting women and children, 
according to Bible scholars, would have reached 15,000 individuals. Malaki yung pinapakain ng ating Panginoon. Sabihin natin, yun ang pinakaunang fast food service. Catering service ng ating Panginoon. Kaya dito sa ating Ibanghelyo, yun ang ating unang natutunan. Magtitipon tayong kumakain sama-sama. Hindi lang bilang isang kakapala ng mga tao o crowds. Ngunit bilang isang mag-anak, isang pamilya. What did Pope Francis say? We have so many dysfunctional families, sabi niya. Because families seldom come together to eat. Families seldom eat together. Kung kakain man tayo bilang mag-anak o kahit magkaibigan, hindi po ba nilalagay natin sa tabletop katabi ng ating mga pinggan, mga kubiertos, yung ating iPhone, yung ating gadget. At paminsan, tinitingnan natin. We are distracted. We are distracted not because of the food, but we are distracted because of the gadget next to the food. At kung halimbawa, mahawakan na natin yun at matingnan natin merong text message o natingnan natin may nag-comment sa ating Facebook account, nakafocus na tayo doon. We become self-absorbed with our gadget, no longer with the food, and neither with the people around us or in front of us. Kinalimutan na natin sila. And so, we no longer treasure our conversation with the one, with one another. At hindi lang yun, kung tayo kumakain, nagmamadali tayo. Ay, lalong-lalo na kung lunch break. One hour lang yung lunch break. Dapat mabilis o pabilisan. Dahil meron pa tayong ibang gagawin. Di po ba? Punta pa tayo ng CR. Pagsisipilyo pa tayo. No? We try to freshen up. So if we want a close-knit family, we must eat together without gadgets and without television being opened. It is true that the family that prays together stays together, but it is also true that the family that eats together, stays together. Ano bang mahalaga sa pag-uusap? Lalong-lalo na sa panahon na nandoon tayo sa kainan. What is important? The relationship is developed in a meal. Intimacy is born in a meal. Kaya may tinatawag na meal fellowship. Alam niyo kung bakit sa ibang mga kabihasnan, kultura, bakit courses ang kanilang pagkain. It is not so much that they want to fill their stomach with food. They want to prolong the moment they are together with others. So that intimacy grows, so that relationship bloom. Hindi po ba kung meron tayong magustuhan o tao man, o meron tayong kahilig sa kanya, pagkiling sa kanya, we would invite that person, ay magkape muna tayo, o kain muna tayo. We would invite that person to a dinner muna tayo, Father. And that prolongs because we want that kind of relationship. And because of that, there is nothing more intimate than a meal relationship. But other than that, notice this one. Sa loob ng siyam na buwan, nandoon tayo sa sinapupuna ng ating mga nanay. We literally eat their flesh and drink their blood. And because of that, there is nothing more intimate than the relationship between mother and son. Itong dahilan kung bakit inialok ni Jesus yung sarili niyang katawan, sarili niyang dugo, sarili niyang pagkatao, sarili niyang 
pagkadyos sa atin sa pamamagitan ng tinapay at anak na iyan because He wants to establish a relationship with you and me that is personal, that is intimate. At hindi lang yan, ito yung dalawang, ikalawang kabatiran ating natutunan. Hindi kahit anong pagkain, kahit anong uri ng inumin. Kaya ayon sa unang pagbasa nato natin, ang ibinigay ng ating Panginoon ay yung pinakamasarap na pagkain, pili-piling inumin, choicest food, best drink. At ano yon yung katawan at tugo ng ating Panginoon. So by this gesture, our Lord is offering Himself the choicest food and the choicest drink. He is offering Himself to us that we may have a relationship with Him. Kaya nung sinabi ng Panginoon, katawan ko to, dugo ko ito, sinasabi niyang ako ito, and let's stay, let us toast to your health, to your spiritual health. He is giving us His body and blood that we may have life in Him. You see, we will never encounter God by just the things we do. We will encounter Him by our relationship with God. Di ba may kasabihan sa English? The way to a man's, a person's heart is through his stomach. So we come to church because we gather for a meal. The Eucharist is the meal of the family of God. And here, we cannot use our cell phones. We cannot have gadgets right in our hands, on our hands. We put them on silent mode. We turn them off and we focus in our conversation with the host of this meal who is Jesus himself. There is no fasting from healthy food and healthy drink at Mass. We focus on Jesus whose body and blood is the finest food and choicest drink in the entire world. Ito yung ating baunin. Di po ba meron tayong grace before meal? Ito yung ating bagong grace before meal. Lord, you have led us to be fed. Grant us now our daily bread. Please stand. In the miracle of the feeding of 5,000 people, our Lord shows us that the Father will give us everything we need. Let us ask Him for all the good gifts He can provide us. Our reply, God, our provider, bless us. God, our provider, bless us. That our pastors may continue to nourish us with the spiritual food that comes from our Lord's table. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God our, our provider, provider bless us. us. That government leaders may find ways to respond to the needs of our poor brothers and sisters. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God our, our provider, provider bless, bless us. That those who experience spiritual hunger may find Christ in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God our, our provider, provider bless, bless us. That we who are gathered here may love Jesus Christ as he gives himself to the multitude in the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God our, our provider, provider bless, bless us. us. That all who have died may come to share in the feast of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God our, our provider, provider bless, bless us. us. Almighty Father, you have given us the bread from heaven as food for our pilgrim journey. Guide our steps in the way of justice and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Friends, pray that your and my sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplished for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Heavenly Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and, and drink, drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, the and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, we offer each other the sign of peace. Magandang umaga, magandang buhay sa inyo po. Peace po. Lamb of God, Let you take be away be the peace sins peace. of the world. Have mercy Jesus on Christ. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. The finest food and choicest drink in the entire world is no other than the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Now blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed.
policy stand. Let us, <clears throat> let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Amen.